This isn't your average soybean farm. Hello. And Christian Lilienthal isn't your average farmer. <laughs> when he's done working the fields, he tends to his menagerie of exotic animals. Oh, there it is. Did you see it? But the kangaroos are probably his favorite. Uh, this is Skipper, and there's Radar. There's Bindi, Rocky, Pebbles. His company, Wild Things Zoo Attractions, primarily showcases these inquisitive creatures in classrooms and county fairs. But Lilienthal's dreams are much bigger than that. There's wonderful zoo facilities around the state. Um, there's wonderful museum and educational facilities around, but this one has to be different than that. It has to have uh, a new piece that people haven't gotten a chance to explore yet. And so he came up with Kangaroo Island. I think it's the type of thing that people just need to think about for a moment before they subscribe to a positive or negative opinion. 15 minutes from the farm in the small city of Gaylord is an uninhabited pair of islands on Lake Titlow. Islands Lilienthal would like to buy from the city and make into a tourist attraction during the spring and summer months. We're really not hoping to change effectively anything about the island themselves, uh, just bring an opportunity there. Bringing kangaroo, emu, wallabies, and parrots too. <laughs> it's not as easy as if we just set up a park someplace, but we're okay with the challenge. Taking the continental island of Australia and bringing it to the islands of the bold north.